Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Teacher Austin. My name is Teacher Marius. And today, we're going to show you how to make Newton's Disc. <laughs> Whoa! So, Newton's Disc. Today, we're going to be making Newton's Disc. But what is it, and who was Newton? Well, Newton was born on Christmas Day in 1642. And he's one of the most famous scientists that have ever lived. Newton worked a lot with physics, like the gravity and how the planets orbited each other. But one of his biggest fascinations was with light. We know that it has the colors of the rainbow inside. Do you know all the colors of the rainbow? It always goes like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Newton was fascinated by this, and he made a number of experiments to test what happens to light. So he made a prism, which is a glass triangle, that sent white light through the prism. What came out was a rainbow. Newton thought that if white light was all the colors of the rainbow, then if we could see all the colors at the same time, it would look white. So he made Newton's disc. Newton's disc is a circle with all the colors of the rainbow. And if we can get that circle to move around really, 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 really quickly, then our eyes will see all of the colors at exactly the same time. Okay, so to make your Newton's disc, you will need glue, pair of scissors, a CD, cardboard, string, colored pencils, a template, and two small pieces of popsicle sticks. Now, you need to put your CD on the cardboard and trace very carefully. Then you need to take your scissors and cut it out. Just like that. Oh yeah! Okay, now that we have everything ready, there are a couple different ways you can make a Newton's disc. You could use your CD and a pencil to trace a circle, and then you could use your ruler to draw the pie shapes. Or we've made it a little easier by giving you a template. So the first thing you'll want to do is color your template in the order of the rainbow. So we're gonna start with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Just like this. Then you want to glue it onto your cardboard and uh, I like to use the glue stick. Try to glue everywhere. That looks good. And you can stick it on. You want to fold it and make sure it's all over. Right now, we're gonna get to these little popsicle sticks. Some glue on your popsicle stick. And then very carefully, you 
You want to get it right in the middle. You want to push it down, maybe hold it for a few seconds. Now, very important thing to remember. The popsicle sticks, they have to go the same direction. So if that one, I put it down like that, you cannot do this. They need to go the same way. Put some glue on this one. So you want to make sure it goes right on top of the other one. You want to push it, you want to hold it down, wait for the glue to dry. After your popsicle stick is dried, you want to take your sharpened end of a pencil and make two holes, one on each side of the popsicle stick. This is where the string is going to go, and that's why the popsicle stick is here, to keep the string from squishing itself into the middle of your... Now it's time to put our string through the hole. It might be a little bit difficult to stick through, but your pencil can help you. Just poke it through one side. Turn it over, and you should be able to pull it through. Then poke it through again, until you've made a full circle. Once both sides are through, tie a knot in the end of your string. If you need help, ask an adult. What happened? Did you make a Pokeball? I did. That is amazing. Why did I not think of that? So, tying a knot, as you can see, can be quite difficult for some people. That is why you can ask an adult, or if not, try, try, try again. And there you go. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your Newton's disc, but now it's time to play with it. So once you have your Newton's disc, Put the disc in the middle of the string and start to roll it up so the string will twist up. Once you've twisted it up a lot, you can just pull and relax your hands. It takes a while to get a hang of it, but after you practice, it'll be real easy. And it's a lot of fun. So here is our rainbow. And if you look carefully, when all the colors at the same time are spinning around so fast, then we see it in our eye, like, like all at the same time. And it actually starts to look, well, looks a little gray. Teacher Marius, do you... Oi, I know what to do. Oh, here we go. You use a flashlight. A flashlight, perfect. Some extra light will help us. Wow, look at that. When all the colors reflect into our eyes at the same time. We don't see red or yellow or green, but we see them all. And that is the color white. I hope you enjoyed making your Newton's disc. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the video below. So cool. I want to play too. Here you are. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. See you later. Have fun playing.